The Ann Arbor Film Festival is the longest running independent and experimental film festival in North America. It has an incredible legacy and history with independent cinema that goes back to 1963 and has a history of showing the early work of artists such as Yoko Ono, Kenneth Anger, Andy Warhol, even George Lucas showed a student version of his uh, first feature film. And that spirit and tradition very much continues to this day. And so our festival is showing a lot of short films, showing a lot of work that's going to be pushing boundaries, breaking new ground. And we have a big audience, we have a great audience. And so that's pretty rare for you to be able to make a five minute film, come to a festival like ours, which has the Michigan Theater, and to be able to have a big audience to celebrate that work with you. Ann Arbor Film Festival is involved with the university uh, in a number of different ways. Uh, the School of Art and Design, uh, the Screen Arts and Cultures Department, Center for Japanese Studies is helping bring in an artist from Japan for a feature film that he's been animating for 10 years, Kaita Kurosaka. Uh, the Confucius Institute and the Center for Chinese Studies are supporting a feature documentary called Disorder, which is going to be a really powerful film. The film festival has uh, some of our screeners that are part of the university. Uh, we're actually going to be uh, world premiering a film by a University of Michigan faculty named Alexis Bravos, a short film about the sculptor Barbara Hepworth. This year we're bringing in Sam Green, who's a University of Michigan alumni, and he's going to be featured as the Penny Stamps program to perform a live documentary with a band from New York. We're also doing a special retrospective of his short films, so I definitely would encourage people not to miss that. The Penny Stamps program is free to the public. We also offer eight other free programs throughout the week, so there's really no reason not to come down and check out what's going on. There's a group we're bringing in that we're excited about with, again, uh, art and design support at the university called Telco Systems. They're coming in from the Netherlands and they are really exploring what's possible within sound, visuals, and they, they say that they uh, test the limits of the human sensory apparatus. The festival is an academy qualifying festival, so if you win best animation or best narrative or best uh, experimental film or best of the festival at our award, you can qualify your film for Oscar nomination. And there's not a lot of festivals that have that, that distinction. We also give out $20,000 in awards to filmmakers, which is significant for a lot of these makers to win a $1,000 prize. It helps encourage them to make that next piece. This year we received approximately 2,500 submissions for consideration from 70 different countries. And of those, we're gonna end up showing close to 120 films in the awards competition and another 50 or 60 films that we curate into special programs. So total of 40 programs, six days, almost 200 films. There's plenty for people to come in and celebrate with us.